Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. I got a recipe. <laughs> um, I'm from New Brunswick, Canada, which is, uh, like, well, where I'm from, is it was like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from Caribou, Maine. There used to be a restaurant there called Yousef's. It was like really popular back then. You're talking in the 80s, okay? Um, it was very popular. Everybody went there, Canadians, whatever. It's like We didn't have a lot of choices, you know? They served everything. It's also a dance club at night. I, I did that once, I think. It was whatever. It's a whole different story. <laughs> but they used to have a buffet there and serve. Uh, it tasted like fried rice, but I got my hands on that recipe. And it's not fried rice. It's like boiled rice with flavors. It's weird. It is this weird recipe. But we're going to try it out. I know it can cook rice. I've done rice before. And are you guys ready? You have rice. All right. I'll type down the recipe down below and all that. So, you guys ready? Let's go. Ding, ding. All right, here we go. This is quite the interesting <laughs> recipe. And it brings me back to my uh, my roots because the, we didn't have a lot to work with back then. You know, I didn't know a lot of spices, didn't know a lot of stuff like what I know now. So, it's it's pretty simple, but it's, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I'm using the flat pan by DeLonghi. You can... Uh, you can use the other one, just take the paddle out. You don't want this stirring around. We're making like a casserole, okay? So it's two cups of Uncle Ben's rice, which I never get, okay? But it's uh, this is a pound box, and that's exactly um, two cups. <laughs> Cracks me up. Four cups of water. I'll type the recipe down below. And that's what's nice about the big DeLonghi. It can handle this recipe. Um, it says one red onion chopped. I got a yellow and a green. It's from my garden last year. I freeze them, so there's that. It's a mix of yellow and green. It says uh, one onion chopped right there. Isn't that crazy? Wait, it gets crazier. <laughs> Half a cup of soy sauce. There's, <laughs> there's no spices or nothing. Uh, third cup of vegetable oil right i'm telling you get ready half a cup of sugar white sugar that's it that is yousef rice right there <laughs> so it says to mix together in a nine by four dish baked uncovered 350 for 45 to 60 minutes let's sit 15 minutes before serving all right you guys so it's going to take a while to achieve about 350. I, you're not going to put this on the highest setting on your air fryer. I will turn the bottom on because there's enough liquid there to keep it uh, heated up and going. So uh, let's do number three, okay? And if you want to know what number three means and all that stuff, I always have a chart down under description under the video. It tells you approximate temperature of that. So I'm going to go for number three and uh, I'll let you know. All right, you guys, let's check it out. It's been 55 minutes. Wow. Oh, my Lord, you guys. The liquid is all gone, okay? So it says to... I'm going to turn it off. Let's sit for 15 minutes. I'm going to close the lid for this one. I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes. We'll be back. All right. Time for a taste. I let it sit in there for about 20 minutes. And let's check to see if it's all cooked well. It looks just like it. Now I see why it tasted sweet back then, all that sugar. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it tasted like. That rice is cooked beautifully, you guys. Cooked through. It's all good. I got the temperatures right. Keep that bottom on. If your air fryer doesn't have a bottom burner like this one, just stir it up once in a while. Um, it tastes just like it. You taste a little bit of sweet, sweetness in the back. That's exactly what it tasted like. Isn't that crazy? Not much to it. And it made a lot. There's probably another cup of rice in the air fryer. I just couldn't fit it all in this bowl. That's beautiful. You guys, I hope you try this one. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.